all right when we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. And today I wanted to try a little experiment with my GoPro. Um, earlier uh, this week I tried recording a video outside, but it was kind of windy out, so uh, the audio didn't turn out so well. So um, as you guys know, I recently did a review of the Zoom H1 uh, Dead Cat, which basically is a little device that you put on you know, the microphone part to basically deaden the sound of moving air so you don't get a lot of pops and stuff like that. So um, I just, uh, in a little weird experiment, I decided to put it on the back of the GoPro to see how well it does in fighting wind. Now there is a very slight breeze that does pick up every once in a while, as you'll see uh, in the corner right about here-ish, right here. Um, I guess the one disadvantage of using uh, this dead cat on uh, the uh, GoPro is that you see little hairs and stuff in the corners especially as the wind picks up so um, but I guess for the purposes of this demo it'll kind of be an indicator of you know when the wind is blowing and stuff like that so um, I decided to record a little video just showing you guys around this nice park here in uh, my local neighborhood of Yokosuka um, so yeah uh, here let me readjust this here so um, just for the purposes of this video so you guys can see and so I can see uh, whether or not this effectively fights wind noise. Uh, I'm not gonna put any music or anything like that up in this video. So this is just gonna be like a little walk and talk vlog, just so you can, uh, just to see like if I can hear myself and whatnot. So I'll just put my phone away. <laughs> I was looking at the uh, the GoPro app just to see how well uh, everything is balancing out. And right now the wind is kicking up pretty bad right now and getting kind of cold. And uh, it's dusk, if you couldn't tell. So uh, yeah. This is a little lookout building. I guess you can like climb up and like look at the ocean and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. But right now it's under construction, obviously. So, yeah. It's been a wonderful day today. It's been really rainy lately, so it's been hard to get out and do a lot of filming, you know. And I kind of feel like a hermit a lot of times just because you know during the work week it's hard to get out because you're just tired and you just want to go home at least I do anyway so yeah but you know I've been keeping on keeping on I just you know watch a lot of stuff on the computer you know a lot of YouTube stuff keep up with stuff on Hulu Crunchyroll I don't do Netflix as much as I used to but uh, I still tune in every once in a while, maybe watch like some stand-up or whatnot. But anywho, uh, this is your obligatory uh, vending machine shot, so I'll just go over a couple things for you guys here. Um, you know, obviously you have, you know, coffee and things of that nature down here. And uh, if you look in those little colors here, red means it's served hot, then like this navy blue color means it's served cold. So yeah, you got, you know, coffee, some more coffee. Uh, tomato juice, and grape juice, like a little bean and corn soup kind of deal. Don't know what's going on with that. Um, then you got like more familiar territory like Monster. This is kind of rare to see in vending machines. You usually see them here in Yokosuka. I haven't seen them uh, too far out elsewhere. Not to say they don't exist, I just haven't seen them. And of course my favorite, Mitsuya Cider. Awesome. Uh, let's see. You know you got your uh, water and stuff like that water tea uh, energy gym is pretty good I've had it before uh, and then you got coffee in a barrel which is pretty awesome it's like a little barrel shaped can then uh, that's some more coffee teas things like that this is pretty cool this was actually featured in a video by Eric Surf 6 recently he's a very popular youtuber here in Japan you guys probably know him and subscribe to him and whatnot but um yeah he did a, a special on uh, various ice cream machines in japan and he was just like asking like hey what flavor should i get and stuff like that so um i guess if i had to pick you know if he hasn't released a video by the time of this recording i'd pick either uh chocolate and waffle cone belgian chocolate's pretty good too or uh chocolate mint that one's my favorite this one's pretty good too. This reminds me a lot of Kamakura because uh, purple yam and green tea ice cream is very popular out there. So, and of course, you know, this is what you'll typically see in a vending machine. You know, you got 
some American Sud, you know, Coke, Sprite, Fanta, Fanta, whatever. Uh, Aquarius is kind of like a Japanese energy drink-ish. Or not an energy drink, but like a sports drink, kind of like Gatorade. You know, tea, coffee, the usual stuff. So. And it just kind of continues on from there. But I just want to give you guys a little look. Oh, let's <laughs> hit that, that tree there. So, yeah. And the wind's picking up if you couldn't see the little whiskers moving about. Hope the, uh, the video doesn't turn out so bad. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, I can't wait for the springtime, man. I mean, I like the only thing I like about Japanese winter is that it's not very humid, as opposed to the summer where it's just a lot of times just unbearable and like I didn't even want to go outside. It was so bad. That was cool. I think these lights are new. I haven't noticed them before. But yeah, anyway, this is a real popular spot for like fishing and stuff like that. So you see a lot of fishermen and whatnot coming here to fish. And there, off in the distance, if you can see, is Sarashima Island. Also, or just Sarashima, because Shima means island. So it uh, means Monkey Island. And um, <clears throat> A lot of people have been asking me, like, why is it called Monkey Island? And originally the answer I gave them was because it was like a, a nod to like Treasure Island or something like that. And I think there's a monkey involved. So I figured, you know, maybe it was something along those lines. But actually, the reason it's called Monkey Island is because there's a legend of a monk who was lost at sea. And then a monkey rescued him and uh, brought him to shore on the island. And so that's why I call it Monkey Island. That's pretty cool. And the moon's almost full. It's getting there. <laughs> so, yeah. Really curious to see how this, uh, this uh, windsock holds up on the GoPro. Uh, it's probably not something I'll be doing too often because, like I said earlier in the video, there's a lot of difficulties involved with it. Just because, uh, well, this particular windsock's not really made for the Go GoPro, so it's not really like designed for it. It just kind of fits, so it's more like a kind of a makeshift sort of deal. So, I mean, just in a pinch, I don't mind using it, but I think I'll, I'm going to find something a, a bit more permanent later on. But for now, it's fine. So, yeah, man, like, I can't wait to do more videos. It's just been uh, very hectic lately with, you know, the schedule and stuff like that and plus you know not not just the schedule but also the weather you know weather's been pretty crummy lately it's been very very rainy very cold and it's pretty cold right now but at least it's not raining yet <laughs> so yeah you know i still uh still enjoy making videos out here even though like the majority of my videos I've made lately have just been like in my house, in my room, you know, and those are okay, but I know you guys like the Andy, Andy Japandi videos, and it's funny because a lot of guys on my ship, you know, found out that I did YouTube videos, and unlike uh, my last ship, the USS Kurtz, they were uh, a lot more supportive of the whole idea, they thought it was pretty cool, so, anyway, quick digression here, here's a little uh, pond area. I don't know if there's fish or anything like that in here. I think it's just for decoration and whatnot. Those aren't fish, they're leaves. I'm just saying. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, you know, the guys on the ship are a lot more supportive. I mean, some people think it's weird, and I guess in some ways it's kind of weird. It's kind of an odd hobby. You know, it's not a very typical hobby. I don't think a lot of people, you know, do stuff like that, but you know, it's something I'm really interested in, something I'm very passionate about. It's something I've been doing for, <laughs> if you guys can believe it at the time of this recording, it's something I've been doing for almost a decade. Yeah, March 1st, 2016 is going to be my 10-year anniversary of being on YouTube. <sighs> time certainly flies. You know? And, you know, I, <laughs> I think for my anniversary video, I'm going to do like a little origin of the Andy Son, or just like why I decided to you know make a YouTube channel and whatnot so that might be coming down the pipes soon 
Uh, not to mention YouTube 101, which is a series that you know I've, I've been doing a lot of work behind the scenes on, as far as like the writing and whatnot. But, oh hey, here's a vending machine with fish on it. That's pretty cool. It's got the same stuff on the inside, but it's got fish on the outside. Cool stuff. And no, this video is not going to be all vending machines. There just happen to be a lot in this little park area, so. But I digress. <sighs> yeah. Ten years almost. Now, of course, granted, I started my account March 1st of 2006, but I didn't really start to make regular videos until, I think, I think it was September, sometime late in September 2008. That's when I started to make regular videos because I got a camera at the time because before then it was you know just a little stuff I had with my very minimal setup and you know maybe you know my best friend the talking Vidalkin would let me borrow his camera to do some things but it was pretty sporadic and you know I didn't really get into it until later but because at the time I was you know really interested in blogging and writing and things like that and I was just very into it, very passionate about it. Now granted, it was mostly just, you know, stuff about my life and just different musings. So, it was, you know, a personal blog. You know, I didn't really expect it to blow up. You know, I every once in a while I gave, like, advice columns and stuff like that. Or just put out, uh, I guess, more uh, educational pieces. It's not the right word, but just more topical pieces rather than just you know talking about me and my various woes and whatnot so yeah I, I I still do like to write but because you know I'm more known on YouTube than on my blog I uh oh that's a big ass dog you guys see that that white thing in, off in the distance that's a dog I've never seen that big of a dog here in Japan thing is massive anyway sorry a little ADD moment there but uh yeah you know like I said with the whole blogging thing I'd love to get back into it but there's all it's always an issue of time with me and ever since I joined the Navy it's it's always been a real struggle for me to get back to my blogging roots because to me it takes a lot more time to write a blog post than it does to make a video because it's just you know, you got to make sure it sounds right in the text, you know, and the message sent is never the message received, as Kurt Bell, also known as Softy Papa, would say. Um, and, you know, with, the, with video and audio, you can kind of get a clearer image and clearer interpretation of what, you know, the creator, or whatever, uh, wants to say just because of... Is that a rat? because you can uh, hear the uh, the intentions a bit better and you can kind of get like the little nuances and things like that so um, whereas with uh, just straight text it's largely you know up to your own interpretation Jeez, <laughs> sorry the little uh, dead cat windsock thing kind of got in my face and I had to like nod my head <laughs> so it's like I almost had like long emo hair. I'm like, Ugh, so much hair, so much issues. Oh my god. Yeah, that's about as far as I can get, you know, because of vents. There's Sarashima, also known as Monkey Island. And it's getting kind of dark. I think I better head back. So, yeah, um, later I'm gonna make a video. Uh, it'll probably be out before this video gets out, to be honest. But, um,. Just talking about, you know, the various updates for this month of February 2015 and whatnot. And I got a fair amount of personal stuff to talk about. But I think with this one I'm going to keep it pretty brief. But anywho, I digress. So yeah, that pretty much closes out for this little video. Walk around, windsock test, multi-purpose, whatever, whatever the heck you guys want to call this video. Uh, so yeah, this is the Andy Son. Looking at the doggy, this big ass doggy. Oh, and he's signing off for now as well. 
uh, thanking you guys for tuning into this video and my other stuff. Also want to thank you guys for liking. Oh yeah, click click. <laughs> Commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later guys. Good night.